He arrives with a group of journalists making grand statements and mocking 1900. Confident in his victory, Jerry doesn't realize that 1900, who is calm and unacquainted with the concept of a piano duel or jazz, is merely interested in hearing how this so-called inventor plays. The anticipated showdown begins, with everyone eager to witness this clash of talents. Jerry makes a dramatic entrance, grabbing everyone's attention. He starts his performance with finesse, his music resonating with the audience, particularly the elite of that era, earning him a thunderous applause. He ends his piece with a cigarette trick, demonstrating his skill without dropping any ash. 1900, still absorbed in Jerry's music, takes his turn at the piano. Surprisingly, he chooses a simple tune, Silent Night, a piece even children are familiar with. The audience is unimpressed, whispering among themselves, yet 1900 plays on, deeply engrossed in the music, finishing in under three minutes. Jerry, feeling insulted by such a simplistic response, restrains his anger, maintaining a semblance of gentlemanly decorum. He ups the ante with his second piece, once again captivating the audience, even moving 1900 to tears. 